안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Today, I am going to be trying to put low lights, like darker-ish streaks in my hair. Just a little bit to kind of fake a balayage or give an illusion of a balayage to my hair. I have it up right now so you can't really see the blend on it, but I don't want these like kind of segregated straight chunks of color because right where the gray meets brown, that's where my roots start. I kind of want like a nice fade of dark brown from down kind of into the ash. Random kind of faded, like a balayage. This is my first time doing low lights with a permanent color. I've used semi-permanent to try to do like a shadow root with a comb. I'm gonna try to use foil to prevent it from getting onto like any other plotches of hair. So let's first take down my pony. ta -da! So now that my hair is down, you can kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of... Yeah, there is kind of variation. You can kind of see a bit of variation and it does look kind of like a color melt. But from some angles, it does look like black, brown, gray, and then ash. I did like a strand test right here. It is a tad bit lighter than my natural hair color, but it is darker than this kind of medium dark brown like chocolate color I've got going on here. So let's mix our color and I'll show you what I plan to do and how I plan to apply it. And hopefully it works out as planned. With most permanent colors, I believe this is gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio, but because I am not wanting it to move so much, I'm gonna mix kind of like a thicker consistency with my 20 volume developer. Tiny bit of Olaplex to rebond my bonds. Letting my hair down the middle. From my ear, create kind of like five to six sections throughout to get a nice distributed low light. <gasps> I'm so nervous, okay. It's okay, Nami, you got this. You got this. You're gonna be fine. Mm, I'm gonna pick and choose where my darker color, where the color naturally goes deep anyway from my previous coloring. Okay, right there. Let's do this. Woo! Here we go, my friends. Yeah, that's good. Fold this up. I'll clip the corner so it doesn't move. Don't want it to slip down. Okay, right here. It's like a chunk of dark. Just even that out. Even this out, and then I'll add a little bit of a streak there. Kind of like a baby low light. Now I want to be careful not to get it on my black hair because that might lighten. Actually, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. But anyways, close the door. Put some of the color on first. To be honest, I'm not really going in much of a pattern or anything. I'm just intentionally randomizing. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Hopefully it doesn't look like bumblebee stripes, like bam, bam, bam. Hopefully it'll look nice and distributed, like a balayage. I know the color will be a good match. I'll be back in 20 minutes. See ya. Ooh. Oh. oh my gosh. <gasps> Looks good so far. Oh. Ooh, girl. Oh my gosh. 
I'm using my Finola No Yellow Shampoo. It's like a purple shampoo. It's my favorite purple shampoo. It's actually very, very effective, but also even lathering. If you're interested in any other products used in this video, they will be linked in the description for your convenience. And at no extra cost to you, we do get a small portion of the purchase to go back into supporting our channel. So thank you so much for supporting our channels in this way. For conditioner, I'm using my Kirkland Costco brand <laughs> conditioner. This one is sulfate free. It's 100% vegan, paraben free and gluten free. And when I say I use a lot of conditioner, like my hair is not that long, but this is 20 pumps. It always helps to seal the cuticle of the hair shaft so that it helps prevent your hair from clinging to moisture and taking five ever to dry. While we are at it, I'm going to apply my Olaplex number two humongous 2000 milliliter version of hair recovery bond perfector. I just feel like it's a good idea just to continue to repair my hair, especially after I've removed my red and hmm, I like it. If Olaplex is a little bit more of a pricey option for you, I also do recommend the Fanola Fiber Fix. Even though I'm not using that today, I'll have it linked down below just in case you want to check it out. Olaplex number three also comes in a small bottle of like $30. That's actually what I first started off with, so I'll put that down below as well. But yeah, when I first bleached my hair, Olaplex was like part of my weekly hair routine that I never skipped because it literally, it did so many wonders for my breaking hair, literally like snapping off hair. Look at that. I don't know if you could see before the tint of green that my hair had, but like it's silver now, girl. <laughs> this is why the Fanola No Yellow is my favorite purple shampoo. Leave-in silk treatment, my leave-in conditioner. This one is BioSilk Silk Therapy Original Treatment. One of my staples as well. Run it through, run it through. Soften the hair. Oh my gosh, it looks good though. It actually looks like a balayage. Still a tad bit yellow, do you see that? I might have to tone this. Or I can just put my next color on top. Oh wait, that's wrong. <sighs> okay, folks. It's done, it's done, it's done. I'm tired, but oh my gosh, it's everything that I that I expected, not expected, but hoped it to be. Some areas, I kind of wish that the blend was better, like right here, but at least it's not blotchy, it just kind of ends abruptly. Then we have like sections like this, where you can really see that. The dimension, it's like the darker brown breaks up my brown from before, kind of multiple shades of brown right here, so. It looks better, I like it. Oh my gosh, it's my first time with like such a balayage slash shadow root slash color melt. I think my hair is pretty much ready for some colored conditioner. I can have some fun with it. I definitely wanted to blend down my roots first before putting on a new color because my roots were just so black and long. But oh my gosh, look at that melt. Good job, Nami. It's snatch it, it's snatch it. If you like this video and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified right when new videos drop. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments. I also post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, so I'll check you out on those platforms. If they are platforms that you use, that's it, I'll see you next time.